Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, it's the Pop Tart Lee and this is my excited face because I'm overjoyed that I've got this box. Um, not gonna try and just waffle on, I'm gonna show it straight away. It is the X-Men Collector Core 20th anniversary box. I already know what's in this because unfortunately there's a lot of, not gonna swear, on different pages, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, who post images of stuff that's meant to be mystery boxes and let you know what's in them when you kind of don't really want to know. So if you don't know, I'm glad that you're here for this video and you get to see what is one of the best collector core boxes I've seen them do for a long time. So you'll know hopefully from my other videos, um, or if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. This is the kind of stuff I do. That I have been collecting this X-Men line and obviously the collector core box. This has got two of the best pops I've seen from the line so far. So I'm, I'm really excited to get into this one. As is always the case with these boxes, there is a little bit more in as well. I'd have been happy just for the pops, but as it is, there's some really cool stuff in this box as well. And I will start that off with trying to make as little crackling as I can. This awesome Professor X pin badge. I mean, that is really, really cool. I'm hoping you're picking up on the cameras. Is that, yeah, that does work actually. But just the detail on that, completely embossed. It's really, really cool, really decent pin that is you can tell they're always really good quality the pins that come in these boxes whether it's the star wars or the smugglers bounty ones double pinned as well in the back so you ain't going to lose this this will go on my comic con bag i mean that's a great start straight away also a t-shirt i get the medium t-shirts for the anything basically from america because the sizing just seems to be different i'm normally a large i won't model this one but this is just a super t-shirt, let's get it up. So although this is the X-Men 20th anniversary box, it's an OG X-Men t-shirt. So it, I'm trying to get, there you go, there's a full picture of that design. Professor X Cyclops Wolverine, just, oh, that is just a beautiful t-shirt, that is so cool. And I had to have that, because oh, I said you'll see me wearing that in numerous other videos because I'm really happy with that one. And then, already beaming and happy, Runs the pops, I beg your pardon, we're not. There's also a decal sticker as well of Nightcrawler. I think that's from the pose, without having a box in front of me, I don't know, but I think that's from the pose on the common pop, not the San Diego Comic Con one. I might be corrected if I am, I'll put it on screen, but that's nice. I need to get some sort of sticker board because I've got a number of stickers, not just of this kind of ilk, but also from other YouTubers, which at the moment are all just stored together with my notes and bits and bobs like that, but I would like to have a sticker board somewhere. Got the cheat card, which I won't show you next month, well, coming soon, zombies, which that's not a line I'm gonna be going into. But, oh, <laughs> I can see the pops. There's two, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna say it's not my least favorite, it's my second favorite because I do love them both. But the first one is Logan. This is from X-Men Origins Wolverine with bone claws. This is just amazing. I mean, there's the line on the back, you'll see me opening these through popping a box quite regularly. But that is an amazing pop. It's a top. And that's my belching buddy from Bridge End. Let's get him out of the box before I show you the other one. I'm be super careful with this one. I mean at the moment, like I said, the pop wall's growing and a lot of them are X-Men. And this one will be going on the pop wall as well. Oh, he's awesome. So He's got his bone claws, long hair, as he has got in the early parts of X-Men Origins Wolverine. That's not a great film either, to be fair, is it? Let's be completely honest. When you think they made a few Wolverine films and they finally pulled it out of the bag for me with Logan, which was just awesome. But he's got his army gear on, and he's got a little water bottle on the back. He's got a full beard, into just you can see that under there, rather than the Wolverine sideburn, sideburns. I need to say sideboards, that's in the kitchen. If you want to see a kitchen box, I've opened one of them quite recently. He is awesome. I really look at the detail on them claws. It's like ridged as well. Very, very, very cool pop. And then the other one, which I mean, that's cool. This one is amazing. It's number two one seven. That's quite weird actually. Let's just let you do that. Number six five three, and they're all in the six hundreds. This one's two one seven. That's a bit odd, isn't it? Oh, well, not sure why. But this is Mystique from X-Men, the original film, but obviously 
when she was turning from herself into Wolverine. That's just awesome. Even the box artwork on this is just superb. I can't wait to get this one out of the box and just have a good look at how they've done this. That is weird with the numbers. Do you know the reason why that is? By all means, let me know in the comments. It's quite a light pop as well. Um, it's in one of these two packs. Two packs. It's in the plastic where they seem to, if they're on the stand, they seem to be doing plastic encasing rather than just one side, which is why it's really well. Oh, that is beautiful. That is an amazing, amazing pop. So obviously it's on a raised stand. You've got Wolverine on one half, Mystique on the other. And then it's not just like half and half, it's like across the body as well, across the outfit. One arm is with claws and the other one is in the change. I've never seen that before on a pop. I don't know how close I can get that. It's trademarked on the bottom. I don't know, can you see that? Are you bothered? Probably not, but it has got a marble trademark on the bottom of the foot. Never noticed that before on a pop. But that is amazing. A lot of work gone into that one. That is a really good pop. They've put a lot of effort into that one. Even to the point where it's slightly raised, where it's Mystique, onto Wolverine, almost like it is kind of crossing over. I actually think in the film while I'm saying that, it's, it goes the other way. And she's Wolverine to Mystique. I think she does it both ways. Who are Jimmy Barnes. But that is, and again, that has got a trademark on the foot. Maybe that's a standard thing. Maybe it's just something I've not picked up on before. But that is superb. So let's go to the chase. They're the two pops that you get in the box. And um, this is a courtesy again of Pops Miss UK. Just an amazing box. On top of that, the pin badge, the decal, and the t shirt, which I'm not going to be able to hold up. Well, well, yeah, the t shirt. So I think that is the best collector core box they have done in a long, long time. Definitely since. I'm thinking back, definitely since before Infinity War, which was an okayish box. Probably the last one I really enjoyed was maybe going back to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So, really glad to have these in my collection. They're amazing pops. Uh, let me know in the comments. Let's think of a question. What's your favourite X Men film? What's your, who's your favourite X Men? X Men, that sounds like a pop up common Lester talk. Who's your favourite X Men? Send this video as I started it. Super excited, a big thank you to Daz over at Pops UK. You can like, comment, share, subscribe, all the usual to YouTube gubbins, YouTube gubbins, notification bell, do the point. It's my thing now. Um, until the next one guys, look after yourself. Bye for now, bye.